Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. I am gonna do a little vlog today. It's the morning, Rich has just gone out with Grey to a singing baby class thing. I'm just watching Zoe Suggs vlog. I love her vlogs, they're so long. They've got a bit of everything in them. Perfect like morning watch. But I'm gonna start the vlog this morning and I thought I would do my hair and makeup with you first of all. I haven't shown you guys my sort of daily makeup routine in ages and to be honest I do the same makeup every day whether it's a day with grey or a work day I guess I can just take my time more on a work day usually when I do my makeup grey sits right on my lap I wish I could show you but she would literally be like right in the front of the camera she loves it she plays with all my makeup ruins all my makeup but um and she like copies me she just if she's in the house and she gets an idea that I'm doing my makeup she is like me 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 so I've just had to get used to doing my makeup with her on my lap but my routine is quite simple and I, I like the products that I'm using at the moment so I thought I would show you guys. I'm going to start by doing my hair and without talking too much about my hair because you guys are bored of it. Um, to try and you know help these awful awful short bits make me look like I've got like a mullet. I'm going to try and do some sort of like French plait. I don't know how to French plait like I know logistically how to i know the theory of it but i find it so hard to do it on myself i got loads of comments on my last video saying you should just like french braid your hair until it grows out i wish i could wear my hair in like two french braids all the time but i can't do it myself i can't get it tight enough i know it's probably practice my sister is amazing at stuff like that um if i lived with her i would get her to do my hair every day i can kind of do it enough that i can do these front sections i tend to kind of just take the top take three pieces it's always so loose and messy but it kind of works and then I just start plaiting and then I just kind of add a bit but it's I find it just gets so messy but it's it's kind of fine and then I just kind of put it in a bun or something at the back so this will have to do for now I kind of just like See, anyone who knows how to French braid is probably watching this and thinking, what are you doing? But this is all I can do. I'm really bad at any sort of hairstyle because I'm just, because of my hair type, I've never really done hairstyles. Like when it was curly, I never was able to do stuff to it. So yeah, I kind of just wear it down or up. Okay, so I kind of just like, I kind of just do that and then and then I just tie it up while I do the other side and then I'll do the other side and then I'll take those hair bands out and just put it in a bun. Nothing fancy but it's kind of just helping get these front bits out of the way for now. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you guys my makeup. Okay hair is done so do you see what I mean? It's like it's fine, it's out my face, it, it looks like I've made some sort of effort. I think from the back it looks really messy, it's just like a bun, there's no way I could do the ones that go all the way around but it's working for now. So let me show you my daily makeup. On days where I've got grey on my lap, I would just mix these first two steps together. I would literally just put both on a brush and go for it. But if I've got the time to spend a little bit longer, I will just use my hands to put on the Glossier Future Dew first. This is just a lovely glowy base. I think makes all the difference to your makeup. Um, I've already moisturized and put serum on and stuff like that in the bathroom this morning. But this just adds like, instant glow to my skin and makes makes everything just look a lot healthier it's a little bit sticky on my hands so i do find it a bit annoying when i have to use my hands but i feel like it does work better when i just apply that first like that and then for my foundation i'm going to be using the fenty beauty ease drop i am loving this i wear shade six Again, probably a bit nicer applied with your hands, but I just can't be bothered to get them all messy and have to go and wash them. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on a buffing brush. So then I just dot it on my face. And I really, I really like this foundation. It's not super glowy, but with the Glossier base, it's, it's glowy enough. And it's just, it's very natural. It's not heavy. It kind of just looks like my skin, my, beauty spots and everything kind of can still show through, it doesn't look heavy and I'm just finding it at the moment a very easy everyday base. So I just kind of keep buffing that in circles all the way around. My eczema hasn't reacted at all to this foundation 
and it just feels lovely. I actually use quite a lot of Fenty products in my routine these days. So I can take a little bit extra time, but just buffing that all in and it just like meshes so nicely with the skin. I also love the packaging of this. It's so little and lightweight and just nothing fancy. It's perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna use a bit of concealer and for that I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I'm using the shade Nougatine. Uh, it looks like this. Grey has kind of destroyed it. And I just use my finger. I literally just tap my finger in and then I just kind of take it under my eyes. It doesn't it doesn't tend to like dry up or, or crease under my eyes. It's hydrating enough. I can't really use liquid concealers, like with a doe foot brush, which I used to love. I find, I think I've worked out that that kind of triggers my eczema for some reason. My sister told me that it, it does that to her. So I stopped using it. Um, things like the Charlotte Tilbury liquid concealer. I stopped using stuff like that and um, it did make a difference. So it's a bit of a shame. Every time there's something I can't use, I get a bit gutted, but there are lots of lovely cream concealers out there. So I just take that a little bit on my nose. Oh, I've got a spot right between my brows there. As you can see, I'm really not like covering everything. I'm just really not into like that heavy makeup look anymore where you look like you're wearing loads of makeup. I don't really want to look like I'm wearing lots of makeup, but I mean, by the end of the day, this makeup will probably have disappeared. It's not particularly like long lasting makeup, but it's just absolutely fine for my lifestyle. Oh, have we got a delivery? Is that going to be the doorbell? Yes. One sec. It was for Rich. I think I'm done with my concealer. I'm going to leave it there. And now I'm going to do a cream bronzer. And this, as well as the Glossier, I find this, I feel like this makes me look um, really healthy and glowy. This is from Fenty Beauty. It's her cream bronzer in butter biscuit. I kind of don't want to show you the inside because it's so gross, but I just swirl my brush around and look how instantly this just adds a really lovely, healthy, glowy bronze. I love a cream bronzer. I just kind of take it on my cheekbones and down my neck and then up my temples and down my nose. Kind of like a three shape, but just blending it loads the whole time. It's literally like holiday in a pot. This is so quick. I can do this whole routine in like five minutes. Maybe it seems like a lot of makeup to some people who have like little toddlers and just think like, wow, I don't wear any makeup on my days with my kids, but I like to still kind of look like me and um, Grey's quite patient. She'll sit and do it with me. But like I said, it takes literally five minutes. Now for blusher, I'm gonna be using this one. It's new from NARS and it's their Air Matte Blush in Freedom. I'm actually gonna use a little brush dab it in there and then I just kind of take it up on the cheekbones and then blend it in. It's just a very pretty pink blusher. I think blush really finishes off a makeup look and makes you look very healthy. Adds a bit of colour to your cheeks. I don't really wear highlighter anymore. The Glossier product is a kind of a highlighter and so I tend to use it before my makeup. Sometimes I'll put a bit on, a bit on at the end but I haven't really done that for a while. I'm just going to use my foundation brush to like tap that in and blend in the edges. So that's the blusher. Eyebrows, I finished both of my eyebrow brushes, which is really annoying. It's one of those things, I need to just go into a shop and buy one. It's not something I wanna like order online just for one product, um, but I just haven't been near a shop that stocked them for a while. So the ones I have been using recently are from NARS and Benefit, but they're literally, they're literally finished. Like I might be able to get a tiny bit left. Oh my God, I really, really need to get... Do I have anything else? I must do. Oh, I just found one. I've got a Fenty Beauty one. Yes. Okay, so I'm just, you know me, I literally just fill in the front of my brows and then I fill in a little bit of the arch. The same on the other side, not much at all. That's kind of it. And then I just like to use the Blink Clear Brow Gel to set them in place. Just one swipe and then I tend to kind of brush it through with my finger so it doesn't get too gloopy. And then for my eyes, I just love using um, this from Armani. Oh, I can't remember the name. It's shade 23. It's a liquid um, eyeshadow. I hate the applicator though. I really hate the applicator. So I think I've near, nearly finished it. That's probably why it's a bit annoying. But I tend to actually just take a brush and just take it off the applicator. And then I just swipe it over my lid. A little wash. Oh, I really wish this was in different packaging. 
do the same on the other eye wash over the lid Oh, talking about eczema, it's actually starting to get a little bit bad under that eye. I need to put some cream on it. I don't know what that is about. Sometimes I take my eyeshadow under my eye. Most of the time I do, but recently I kind of just haven't been. I've been wearing my makeup a bit more natural. So then I just take my Charlotte Tilbury Brown Liquid Eyeliner and I literally just put a very, very thin line on the top of my lash line. I just feel like it finishes it off a bit. Makes my lashes look a little bit thicker. Like it's as quick as that. And then mascara and I'm done. I've just been using whatever's in my drawer, which is the Bare Minerals Lash Topia, which is really nice. I think I'm due a new mascara though. Quick swipe of mascara. And that is my daily makeup routine. When I'm not talking through it, I do it even faster. And that's literally it. That's how I do my makeup every day. So if you've ever commented on Instagram saying my makeup looks nice or in a video, that's probably what I'm wearing. So what is the plan for today? Apart from filming this vlog, I've got some kind of jobs stuff to catch up on, um, finishing off some social Instagram stuff for the Voxel job that I did. Thank you guys so much for all your comments on that video. I need to promote the podcast, which has gone live today. And I don't know, bits and bobs. I didn't work yesterday because it was my grandma's 91st birthday, which was lovely. So I've got quite a lot of stuff to catch up on today. I've also got a Zara delivery downstairs, which I will open with you guys. It's more stuff for Grey, I swear. I really need to get myself some new clothes, but she is now going into age two to three. It's a new season and anyone with kids will understand it's just like constant like you constantly just have to buy them a whole new wardrobe it's crazy i try to get as much secondhand stuff as possible me and my friends do swaps and hand-me-downs and that is great but you still end up having to buy so much stuff um it's crazy luckily because she's my first hopefully we can use the clothes again a lot of the clothes she wears aren't particularly girly so it doesn't really matter if our like next kid is a boy or a girl it, it does feel quite wasteful and i would love to buy from small brands and i do often buy bits from small brands but the volume of stuff that they need like vests and socks and just so much stuff it's kind of crazy it's something i different, definitely didn't realize before having kids um but now she's in age two to three which is a much longer period of time hopefully we won't need to buy as much although i guess the seasons still change I don't know, it's crazy guys, like just so much stuff. <laughs> so I bought some stuff from Zara for her. I don't really tend to shop at Zara for myself, but their kids clothes are great and just it's so easy to get it all in one place. So I'll show you what I got for her from there. Okay, ignore this box. This is 12 to 18 month clothes that we've been going through um, to give to a friend. I just wanted to show you these trousers that I got from H&M. They are so comfortable, they're elasticated waist and then they're kind of just like loose. I mean, I don't know if they're the most flattering things in the world, but they're so comfy to wear around the house and I have just been loving them. I will link them down below if you are interested. We've actually got our architect coming round later today to go through plans for the loft. It seems to be like dragging quite a lot. The process is going slower than we had hoped. We had to eventually like apply for planning permission or I don't know it's complicated it's hard it's hard to explain it should all be fine but anyway she's coming over later because she wanted to actually talk through in person the plans so we're going to try and do that I'm not sure how it's going to work with grey here but we're going to try our best um that's the plan for this afternoon let me quickly have a look at what's in this Zara order I vaguely remember like trying to order more like basics there's so much cute stuff at the moment and loads of really like summery things, but we just spend so much money whenever we order her clothes. So instead of just like spending a fortune in one go, we thought we'd space it out and order more of the summery stuff nearer the time. Hopefully it will still be in stock. But for now, she just needs things like t-shirts, like basics. She hasn't got loads of t-shirts. Oh my God, that is so cute. I love that. Isn't that such a me t-shirt? Very cool. Oh, this little top. Summery top, that's gonna look very sweet. I thought that's good with jeans. She needs more like tops to wear with jeans. This is just a basic pack of t-shirts. We've ordered this before and she wears them and they're really sweet. They're really oversized, so they look really cool. It's just like a white t-shirt and like a beige and a taupe. Those are very handy. This top, 
kind of cheesecloth material. That's quite nice. And oh yeah, this I thought maybe to wear on her birthday or maybe just whenever. It's like a soft jumpsuit material. That is so sweet. It's actually got like an open back. <laughs> that is so cute. Kids clothes are so much cuter than adult clothes. Oh, this is cool. This is um, a chain for her sunglasses. She loves wearing sunglasses, but we thought this was quite clever because then if she wants to take them off, she can still wear them around her neck and like not lose them. Look at this. Oh my God, I want one of these. I might have to order this for myself. <gasps> so she can like hang her sunglasses around her necklace. Obviously don't, you know, choking hazards, all of that. We're very sensible, don't worry. Look how cool that is. I love it. She's gonna love that. She has baby Ata sunglasses, which are our faves because they're really good. And if they break them, they just replace them for you, which is very handy. Okay, so that's all we got. It wasn't even that much stuff and it was an absolute fortune. <laughs> we still need, we still need so much like summer stuff for her. I'm very lucky though. My friend SJ, her daughter is a couple of years older and she was born in the same season as Grey. So we get a lot of her hand-me-downs, which is just so, so handy. Okay, I'm gonna head upstairs to my office and start getting on with some work. Rich has just asked if I want to meet him and Gray at our local cafe for an early lunch. And I'm tempted because we never, we never do anything fun like this, like during the week. We never take advantage of the fact that I work from home. And I don't know, I feel like suddenly everything's opening up again. And I had this big realization of that actually doesn't make much difference to parents with young kids because we still can't go shopping. I still can't go out for dinner. So we haven't really actually done anything fun. So just going to a cafe for lunch is sounds quite fun. I might, I might be naughty and do it. I think I'm gonna go walk up and see if there are any tables outside. There's only two tables, so it's probably quite unlikely anyway. God, it's much colder than I thought. My ankles are freezing and I'm wearing Rich's puffer coat and I'm still cold. Okay, we ordered Grey's as soon as we got here, so it comes out first. She's got a little cheese and tomato toasty on a delicious bread, I have to say. I've ordered falafel. Rich, what did you go for? The Sabine. So aubergine. Aubergine. Mm. I'm giving this Oats drink milk. a go. Oh, yeah. but it's a little bit sweet actually, I'm not 100% sure. Look, like my food's just arrived. This looks amazing. Falafel, Israeli salad, pita bread, hummus. Oh, this is perfect. Is it yours? Mm. Oh, it's good too. One second in and she's stolen Rich's bit of bread. That's literally half your lunch. Wow, so nice. <laughs> it's a little bit later now and lunch was so nice. It's just so nice to have someone else make the food. I think that might be our first time we've eaten out, you know. It's just so nice. It's, it's another level, you know. We like cooking, but it's just so good eating out. One of Grey's birthday presents has just arrived, which is really exciting. My parents and Rich's parents got together, a joint grandparent present um, to get her a Wendy house. She's gonna love it. We're gonna put it on the decking, I think, so she can play with it like all year round. It's from Costco and it's like wooden and black. It's quite simple, um, but I think she's gonna love it. But we need to kind of, I think we're gonna build it and then try and cover it and like hide it until her birthday. So yeah, there's like a massive box over there. Um, also, I'm just about to wrap this present for one of Gray's little friends. It's his birthday today and I got him these. If you guys haven't got these, they're a really good present actually. Smart Max Magnetic Animals. Gray loves hers. So I'm just hoping he doesn't have this already. I'm just gonna wrap it in Christmas wrapping paper because that's all we've got. Love wrapping things that are square. Okay, we finally finished our meeting with the architect. Oh my God, it was so long. It was like two hours and Gray doing a meeting like that. Oh my God, it's just chaos. With Gray, we like tried stickers, we tried coloring in. She thought she was Anna because she's brunette. She thinks everyone brunette is Anna. And the whole time she was like, look Anna, look Anna. She just wanted her to watch her. Yeah, that was quite stressful oh, actually. On. But I think we nailed some things and we can get like, the drawing's finalized now. Oh, okay, I need to do some work now. I feel like that took my whole afternoon. Let me show you how good Grey is at this triangle thing. Go on then. Up. Leg over. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, you're so good. 
So proud. Gray just had these delicious fish cakes that Rich like whipped up. I don't even know what recipe he used for these. Probably from the Ella's Kitchen book because it's a new book we've got. And I'm just cooking up some pasta for myself. Oh my God, I look so like dis disheveled at the end of the day. Um, I'm just gonna have some spaghetti and I've got some really nice like leftover tomato sauce. It's just onions, garlic and tomatoes, but I blitzed it all in the Vitamix, which makes it really like creamy and lovely. <laughs> Show me what you want. She opens the fridge herself and then points. What do you want? Bye-bye. A baby bell. <laughs> Just what you need right before your bath. Oh my God, this looks and smells delicious. It's a massive portion, but I'm totally gonna eat all of it. Oh my God, we had one seriously overtired toddler going to bed tonight. I have no idea why actually, but she was so overtired. She got really excited before bed. And yeah, I think she just, then she just burst into tears and didn't even want a bath. We've never really had that before. Anyway, bedtime is done. I've just taken off most of my makeup, got into some comfy track suits. My hair's still up, I need to take it out. Actually, it's starting to become a bit uncomfortable. And now is operation tidy up. We've got Play-Doh and stickers and stuff all over the house. So I'm gonna tidy up. I can't show you our architect drawings because she annotated them and has to take them back with her to make some changes so I haven't actually got anything to show you. But yeah I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye! Bye.